Hi guys, this video is going to be an introduction to working with the radical sign. Okay, so let's start with some basic examples. So, this is what the radical sign is for those of you who are totally new to this. Okay, so when you have a number under here, let's say 4, what this means is what, how you read this is the square root of 4. Okay, so the way you attack a problem like this is you break down the number under this radical sign into its factors. Okay, so 4 can be breaking, broken down into 2 times 2. Okay, and then once you have it written down like this, you can circle any pairs that you get. Right, so we have two twos, so we can circle them and take them to the outside of the radical and whatever is left here under the radical will stay but in this case we've taken everything out so this equals 2 okay let's try another easy one 9 9 is 3 times 3 so we can circle these two threes we've paired them up and we can take them out and there's nothing left inside 3 Another common one is 16, which is 4 times 4. Pair it up, bring it out, and we're left with 4. And the last one I'll do like this is 25, which is 5 times 5. Now, all these, the first four that I did are the simplest and work out very cleanly and that equals 5 okay but let's say we get an example like this 27 now 27 if you start breaking it down you can go 3 times 9 right and this 9 can be, you can't pair these up right so you should tr see if you could keep going this 9 can be broken to 3 times 3 and you have to bring this other three down so you have three threes you can only pair two of them it doesn't matter which two you pair two of them up and you bring that outside and you're left with this one three inside so this pair that comes out is just one three and we still have this three under the radical sign and let me draw these arrows so this three, these two threes paired up and came outside, and this three was left inside. So we keep this radical sign, okay? Let's try another one. How about 50? So 50 can be broken into 5 times 10 can pair these up so we keep going 10 can be 5 times 2 and we make sure to bring down that original 5 we can pair up these two 5's but that 2 remains right so we rewrite this this is equivalent to 5 comes out so we get 5 radical and the 2 stays in 2 notice this is the 2 we could not pair this 2 okay but the 5 we paired okay let's do one more this is just with numbers I'm gonna do a video uh, after this with variables with exponents in there so you're gonna see it's the same idea it's gonna build on the same principles except it's just going to get a little bit more complicated okay so let's try the square root of 105 hmm. this one is let's say 21 times 5 right these can't be paired up let's see 21 can break down to 3 times 7. Make sure to bring down the 5. 
Now look, we can't pair anything over here, right? So if we can't pair this, then we can't simplify this any further. And we're left with this, okay? So this is an example where everything doesn't work out. And we'll do one more where you'll get to see how a slightly more complicated example let's say 3 radical 27 okay so we already did radical 27 on its own but how you sh should think about this is that this is 3 times the square root of 27 so when we break this 27 down into 3 times 9 and then the 9 into 3 times 3 bringing down this previous 3 pair up these 3's we bring this 3 out and it goes, I'm going to write it in green, it goes next to this and it gets multiplied by the 3 that was already out there. And then this 3, which I'll put a square around, we couldn't pair up so it stays inside the radicand. So we get 3 times 3 which is 9, square root of 3. Okay. Let me draw a couple arrows here. This is the 3 that stayed in. And this 3 came out and was multiplied by this 3. And we got 9. Okay? There's a lot of arrows going on there. It looks pretty cool. Okay, let's do a couple more of these. How about 4? square root of 4. Okay, so we break down 4 into 2 times 2. We pair them up using the green ink. We bring out the 2 and we multiply it by the 4 that was there. And so when we rewrite this, it's 2 times 4, which is 8. And we, we didn't have anything left under the radical, so there's nothing. There's nothing under the square root. Okay. Let's do another one. So 3 radical 28. Okay? So let's see. 28 can be broken into 4 times 7. And 4 can be broken into 2 times 2. Make sure to bring down the 7. We can pair up these 2's. And we bring them out. 2 times the 3 that was already out there and make sure to remember that we have this 7 still in there so when we rewrite this this equals 2 times 3 which is 6 square root and the, thing, the only thing that's left under the radical is 7 so it's 6 square root of 7 okay and let's do one more because we just have the space let's do 15 square root of 125 okay so let's break this 125 into 5 times 25 right 5 times 25 is 125 we can't pair up these two so let's break this down into 5 times 5 make sure to bring down the previous 5 we can pair up any of these two 5's and we'll bring it out And we're left with just 1 5 under the square root. So when we rewrite this, it is 5 times 15, which is 80, or is 75, excuse me. And square root of is only 1 5 that we couldn't take out of the radicand. And that is square root of 5. Let me draw the arrows here. And so you will see that these 5's came out and were multiplied by this 15. And we get 75 square root 
of 5. Okay, so this was an introduction to dealing with square roots and it's often called the radicals. Um, I'm going to do a f another video on dealing with radicals and square roots when there are variables involved. And there will also be subsequent videos on arithmetic with square roots. That's multiplication, addition, division, and subtraction. Okay, So make sure to subscribe so that you get those videos as soon as they're released. And until next time, practice, practice, practice.